Hi y'all, it's me, Laura B with Craft and See with Laura B. Or at Laura B, Craft and See with Laura B. Sorry. For some reason, my stupid, stupid, stupid iPad is not, I don't know what it's not doing. All I know is I have to set my, set it so high that I have to stand on my tippy, tippy, tippy toes just to be able to see into it enough to press the start button. Yes, Mitzi, ha, 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 funny, funny, funny. Being short is no joke, and I don't know why it's doing that. I didn't have to set it this high for anything else. Anyway, so I'm a little bit perturbed over that. So, and I'm trying to keep it within the confines of whatever. Anyway, shut up, enough talking. This is the flip through of my first night journal, my design team project for Kyung Shotwell. It's only taken a few months, I apologize. Um, so anyway, let's get started. As you can see, I took some cloth and I just, um, I used some of, oh, some of this, the anti, not the antique linen, but the Distress Ink Refill, along with, um, the Distress Oxide Sprays to create this. And then I just tied it around. Cut strips off, you know, tore strips off, excuse me. All right, hopefully I'm not out of frame. So here it is, I even added burn marks. Here is the journal. So there are little Velcros here, so we have some room to grow. Here's the front. My wonky sewing, but that's okay. It blends in nicely. There's the back. These things came from uh, Medieval Mirage, her uh, journal jewelry. All right, so here we go. I have this trim that is obviously gold and it's very, very bright. So I took uh, just some, uh, what do you call it? Stains and sprays to try to take some of the brightness out of it, something that you would see. Put over there, I should be in front. Anyway, so again, journal jewelry. Here is this. All I did was take, um, printed out one of her backing papers on tracing paper and then just glued it to this. I had, I don't, I had another idea that now I can't remember what it was, but it did not work. Now, I, it's been a long time since I did one of these videos and I'll try to remember to link it down below um, showing you that when I did the papers I burned the edges I tore I use uh, black I think I use actually the black um, VersaClaire VersaFine Claire something like that to make it look grungy and old and something that you would see although you know the sparkly might detract from that I don't know here's a long tag now these are, I tried to use, I used all Kyung Shotwell papers. So the backing papers are her coffee dyed. And then the kits, I used Kiss first, Medieval, I used a Medieval kit and her King Arthur kit. This is um, journal jewelry. All I did was uh, glossy accented the jewels. These quotes are also part of the kits. And this one I just made a little I'd done this so long ago that I had forgotten what I was doing on half of it like oh that's what I had done come on it does I need to glue that our glues are coming undone and I'm not going to lift it up to look inside so where am I going wrong here there I really do need to fix that yeah Anyway, here is some and vintage paper. I just used one of the squares. Um, I put all her papers away. Anyway, so here it is. I'm very, very, very happy with the way I could not be more pleased with the way it turned out, especially with the cloth. I am hoping that it evokes the feeling, a feeling of it it being old and found and these are just envelopes all I did was cut them out and fold them I didn't 
didn't do anything to them. They're just here. More quotes. Some journal cards are really thin, others are not. This is part of a snippet roll I made a long time ago. There we go. This one I did, it opens like this, and then flips open. Excuse the airplane that's flying over, I have the windows open. It's too hot in the house for me. It's 67 in here and that's about 3 degrees too hot for what I've been liking it lately. I did try to keep everything within something that you would would be able to find easily there in the medieval times. Oh, I'd forgotten. I'd already done, look at this. I'd, I'd done these liquid pearls on this one. I'd done this journal card, you know, months ago. I'd forgotten. Again, I tried to leave some as undecorated as possible. Here's some more of that trim. Again, I did take just various aspects and did the heat stuff on it so it looked like it had been, been around the block a few times. And this folds open. It is just a journal spot. This is the actual card. And this opens up that you can journal or whatever on it as well. I lost another chicken a couple days ago. She got out of one of my babies, one of the layers. <sighs> she flew out of the coop, even though I clipped one of her flight feathers. Um, and Isabel got her. Enough said about that. Um, except for, oh, I'm missing a journal card. Okay. Actually, I do have some of this that didn't go in. That I'd forgotten. So here we go. And here is a little uh, hidden paper clip, kind of hidden, semi-hidden. There's a paper clip. There we go. There's a big journal card. That looked like something they'd hunt back in the day. Use some more of the, whatever these are called, brass hinges. So here, and I just stapled some matching fabric just because here is one of the journal cards another one and then that one I think you can tell the ones I did already <laughs> there. some more of the journal jewelry another longer tag I really like how these turn out, especially for this type of a journal. Um, what I did is I, when I was coffee dyeing paper, this is what was on the bottom two or three layers of uh, the metal jelly roll pan is what I use. And so that's what it looks like when it is all dried and said and done. So it runs perfectly to something like this and you can feel the texture on it. more. I just backed that as you can see. Put one of her, uh, this is one of the fussy cuts, in one of the kits. I would not be able to tell you really. I, I would believe this is King Arthur, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> This is just more of that uh, one I showed you at the very beginning, what I'd cut off. And then here's one. Because obviously they were hummingbirds. And, and then another one of these flip out. So here's a journal card. 
Oops, pull the other one out. Here's a journal card that goes in this part. They are kind of thin, and then this flips open for a journaling spot. I'm trying really hard to keep this in frame. And then again, um, I put this in upside down, excuse me, <clears throat> because when you flip it open, there she's right side up, I know. But there's your journaling spot. And then just more, there are a lot of these narrow ones, so I just kind of made smaller pockets. There we go. Here's a tuck spot with more journaling spots. So it's not a fat or a thick journal, um, but I did try to include a lot of journaling spots, you know, cards and tags. So what I lack in paper. There you go. And I like how fragile this page is because, again, I, I overcooked it. When I was coffee dyeing, I overcooked it, frying it. Alright, so here's this one, last page, and then I use one of my die cuts. I have a set of four of these decorative corner punches, or die cut things, so I just made an envelope, but as long as they can read the dress on it, it's mailable. I didn't want to do anything to it, take away from that. And so there we have it. And then we Velcro shut again. Gently. <laughs> so here you have it, people. This is the first night journal, uh, my design team project for Kyung Shotwell. I used her kit's um, medieval or medieval garden, I believe what it is called. I will link all this down below in the description box, of course. Um, and her f King Arthur. King Arthur and all we're gonna do with this is instead of a bow, just there we go. All right, so here we have it. Design team project for Kyung Shawwell using her medieval garden and her um, King Arthur kits. I really hope you love this just as much as I do. It just, it exceeded beyond my wildest dreams. It really did. So, all right. On that note, I bid you adieu. Um, I don't think I can think of anything else to say. Um, I know my videos are sporadic when I upload. Sorry about that. I'm doing the best that I can. Um, may or may not be getting easier the filming part. And I hope I'm not like all in camera. And this is the beginning of my next project. I just did this this morning. So, yay, yeah, yeah, I'm excited to get started on this. I know I have many journals that I have started. I just, I have to go where the inspiration strikes. And this came about from my jelly printing this morning. Um, and I have several pages that I have done that kind of fit this theme. But I did it with the alcohol inks on my jelly plate. And that's one of the ghost prints. Look at that. There's like three or four ones it picked up on. So these are um, alcohol ink pens where I drew on it. So yeah. This is going to be fun. I'm excited. It's nice and whimsical. and So, yes, this will be a grand, grand fun. Anyway, so there you go. Kyung Shotwell Design Team Project. Late. Sorry, but here it is. I um, hope you enjoyed it. And on that note, I bid you adieu. And peace out. Bye, guys.